Listen, sticks and stones may break my bones, but uh, blah blah will not hurt me. No, an insult, insult, insult is the weapon of the brain. brain. That's all I to say. I'm not going to trade a word with him. I'm sorry. That and call me paranoid. We're talking. I'm talking about people who have served this country and have served well and served hard. Not easy service when you're not a member of government and you're calling yourself a member of government. He doesn't decide for me what I need to do and what I do not need to do. It's as simple as that. I, you know, I don't have time for things like that. People like that. No, you know, when I cannot fathom the reason for something being done in a particular way especially when it's been done for others but it's not being done for others i start getting suspicious i've grown to be to the age where i've seen it all and therefore i easily become suspicious paper talks empty talk flies with the wind yes. still rejoicing then our problem is bigger than I ever imagined. Because it tells us that the, pres that the president, his vice president, his finance minister, they are in a bubble. They are totally out of touch. They are in a world of their own. You know, and, and, and when a government won't, uh, can be tossed up and down, uh, the, the tides like that flip flop, that's a serious thing. For me, my problem with this whole thing is the, is the destruction of the image of this nation and something that is being done which will last for generations. It took a long time before normal Ghanaians would even buy anything to anything that is government because there was always the suspicion, huh, tomorrow you don't know what will happen. Now they are reintroducing that, all that uh, needs to be done and um, Dr. was talking about uh, the, uh, the a letter, simple letter that was written.